welcome back guys to another YouTube tutorial. Hope you all are doing great. In this video, we'll be creating a QR code. I will be using Python for this and the module we're going to use is, I'm just gonna put it right here, import QR code. So this is the module we're using. If you don't have it, all you need to do is go to your terminal and you click on pip install QR code. I already have it. You just click on that and click enter. I should get it. So yeah, that's it for that. You can use your command line tool to install it. Just do the same thing, pip install QR code. Now I have a message right here and I'm not gonna show you guys, it's a question. And I'm gonna create a QR code for that. So if you wanna see the question, you have to actually read the QR code to get the question. And I want you to put your answer down in the comments below. So yeah, this is the cool things you can do with QR code. So you know what, let's get started. And the way I'll do it, I'll import this file right here. And the way to import file is from msg. That's the name of the file, msg.py. The name of the file is msg.py. So we say from msg import code. And the name code is actually the question. It's a string, which is the question. And then from that, say image is equal to qr code dot make and then we we'll put our message in your case you would put a string you would do something like this code is a string so hopefully you get it so i just put code there and after that i'll say image dot save your message your message dot dot png so this is us basically saving it in our in our file as an image so now all we need to do is just run it so we run it and you can see it right here click on it and this is it so make sure you actually read this qr code and answer the question down in the comments below so this is the nice thing we just made a simple qr code i'm going to comment this out real quick don't want to delete it just comment it out and yes another thing we can do with qr code is we can customize it a little bit and make it look more like the way we want it we can increase or reduce the dimension so we say qr is equal to qr code and this qr could be anything you could even put code there but i already have code so yeah then i would have to comment this out so we say code is equal to qr code dot qr with a capital and now we we'll put the version so i'll say version one after that, we'll say error connection secure code dot constant dot error correct L. And this is just what comes with the documentation, so you don't really need to know what it means. Now we can actually customize. If you see box size, we can set it to 30. And we can set the border to 20 so this is going to be this is going to probably look a little bit weird and what we want this qr code to do is actually take a link instead of a string instead of a text just a normal text we want to add a link to it so what we'll do is we'll say code dot add add data and here i just put https yeah so you get this link when you read the qr code and after that, we'll say, Q, we'll say code dot make. Then we'll say fits to true. Now we can say image is equal to code dot make image. And we can say fill underscore color. I'll we'll set the color, you can make it red. Probably not gonna work with red, but 
just to show you that you can do that. And then we'll say back color, back underscore color. We can set that to black. And say image dot save. And we need to give it the name of the file, we'll call it custom. dot png and now if we run it we get custom and you can see it's red and black actually so i'm going to try this out to see if it works like this not totally sure okay so red and black doesn't work so we'll change this to the fill color to black We can change this the back color to red. Now let's try that. Okay, so now it works like this. So the thing is that uh, right here the fill color should be black or white. Let me put it to white and see if it still works. Okay, so it doesn't work. So that means that this fill color has to be black for it to work. So that's just so you know for sure. And yeah, that's basically what we can do with this. Another thing we can do is we can actually change it to SVG instead of using PNG. And yeah, let me show you how we do that. So yeah, I'm just going to comment this out. So I'll say import QR code dot image dot SVG. And now I'll say factory is equal to QR code dot image dot SVG dot SVG path find path image capital S SVG path image. Now we can just say image underscore SVG is equal to QR code dot make. And now we need to put the message we want. We can put Python is such a cool language. And that's our message. The next thing we'll put image say so image underscore factory we'll set that equal to factory. And now we need to save the SVG. So we we'll just say image SVG image underscore svg dot save and now we put the name of the file svg image dot svg so now that's the file name and then we click and we run it now we can see it but for us so we can just click it from here it's not going to show so you right click if you're using PyCharm and you click on Show in Explorer, when you get in Explorer, you click on the file, and now we just right click on it, and you can see we get our SVG on the browser. So yeah, guys, that's basically it. And for sure, I'll send you, I'll I'll put down the link in the description, uh, the documentation for this, so you can see more cool stuff you can do with this, like switching it up. Because in this case, we could change the box size, we could change the borders, and yeah, we could put a link, we could put a message, and we also switched it up to SVG instead of using PNG. So hopefully you learned from it. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and yeah, I'm going to wrap this up, and I'll see you all in the next video.